Quite recently, we saw Cursor 2.0 finally rolling out with an Agent UI and Warp shipping its biggest terminal overhaul for supporting multiple agents. Both are solid steps forward in the AI engineer race. But here's the thing, Cursor is still fundamentally a single agent experience wrapped in a nicer interface. And Warp's multi-agent workflow is powerful but still trapped inside the terminal first environment that isn't built for full lifecycle software delivery. So what if I was to tell you that there is a new state-of-the-art coding agent that basically delivers what Cursor 2.0 wants to be and what Warp is trying to become, but in one unified tool that handles planning, coding, verification, and multi-agent execution with actual production level reliability. This is where I would like to introduce Verdent. Verdent isn't another AI coding assistant, it's a full stack AI engineering system with two modes. You have a VS Code extension, which is focused on precision, transparency, and verifiable code generation. And then you also have the desktop app that runs multiple agent sessions in parallel, each inside isolated Git work trees for clean, reproducible environments. Where other tools help you code faster, Verdant helps you ship code that's correct, testable, maintainable and genuinely production ready. But what's wild is that Verdant is a state-of-the-art AI coding agent, a truly unified all-in-one engineering system built to fully leverage the best AI models through deep integration and advanced orchestration. On the Sway Bench Verify test, Verdant hit a 76.1% pass at one. That's insane because it beat Cloud Code, it beat Codex, and it positions Verdant as the most promising AI agent for actually solving real software engineering problems. And the way they did this is through multi-model orchestration, long context plus persistent memory, and automated verification and automated code review. And like I said, there's two ways to access Verdant. You can access it through the Verdant deck, which is a desktop app, which is a multi-agent platform that runs parallel agents asynchronously in an isolated Git work tree. It's perfect for async multi-project workflows. It also has context awareness like no other AI agent with MCP integration. Then you have the VS Code extension. This is an AI coding agent that plans, writes, tests, and verifies code right inside your editor with production level reliability. With this extension, you have full control over your sub agents, whether you wanna create your own or use built-in sub agents for specialized tasks. Think of it like client, but on another level, enhanced with more capabilities. To get started, use the link in the description below. And what we're gonna do is first start off with Verdant Deck, which is where we're gonna download it to our operating system. You have a limited time free trial. So this is something that you should make the most out of right now. And thanks to Verdant for actually sponsoring today's video. After installing the app, you can simply go ahead and sign up with an account. And now you have the ability to access state-of-the-art models and run them asynchronously to accomplish any sort of task. You can select the type of agent. You can select the planner agent to basically generate a full-on detailed structured plan for your agent to actually follow and execute. You can attach files. You can then add context as well to the sub-agent itself or individual files or folders. And at the bottom, you can manage all your projects and tasks a little bit easier. So I've gone ahead and I have uploaded a project, which is a web scraping agent that has the ability to scrape different sorts of contents off of websites. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna prototype on a new feature with my AI agent. I wanna request the AI agent of Verdant to go ahead and tackle the task of creating a CLI integrated interface. This is where I'm going to request it to create a CLI interface for my AI web scraping agent to easily interact with the agent. I can simply go ahead and send in this request. And what you can also do is you can tag specific folders like individual files or any sort of component that you want the AI agent to have reference. And what's nice is that while it's working on this component of adding the CLI interface, you can actually add in another task so we can say see if you can find any errors in the files and fix them for me. And now what we can do is tag the overall folder itself. We can add in a couple of files. So let's just add in the main.py file itself. 
and we can request this AI agent to see if there's any errors and have it fix it. So we're running two agents simultaneously. We have one over here building the agent CLI and then one going ahead and debugging. This is something where, that will enable you to perfectly run asynchronously in multi-agent workflows within an isolated Git work tree. And there we go. We have our CLI interface for our AI agent, and it has also fixed all the different errors associated with the agent itself. And there's a lot of small things that I haven't really showcased, like the terminal panel is directly accessible through this application. You can minimize the left panel. You can also take a look at the editor itself where you can get a log of everything, like the diff changes. You can even go ahead and take a look at the overview as in the full on log list of everything it has changed. And if we minimize this, you also have it so that you can take a look at the step changes, the diff len, where you can generate a diff for whatever had happened. You can even show the code review and even commit changes that were basically generated throughout the whole process of building this agency CLI. But moving forward, let's take a look at the autonomous VS Code extension, the Verdant extension within VS Code, which you can install for whatever code editor you may have, whether that's Cursor, WinSurf, or VS Code. You can simply go ahead over to the extension store and click on install. You can trust the publisher and install it at your own discretion. And once you have it installed, it should show up within the left panel. And there we go. We have Verdant installed. Now you can go ahead and sign in with the account that you had already created. After authenticating, you can then start using the Verdant agent. You can send in any natural language prompt like you would with Klein or root code. So in this case, you can paste in your prompt. I'm going to be having it requested to create a professional crypto exchange inspired by Hyperliquid, adding in a lot of features. And you can switch between different modes, the agent, which is going to autonomously build it out. Depending on which mode you have it set, you can skip permissions, which I don't really recommend, but you can also manually accept everything and review it yourself, or you can have it on auto. But what you can do is you can switch between these different modes, like the planning agent, which will create a detailed plan for the agent to execute, or you can use the chat to basically chat with your code base. You can also attach context. You can add files or images as well as sub agents. So if you want to add in a verifier and explorer, these are built-in sub-agents by Verdant, but you can even create your own. So if you want to create your own, you can specify the sub-agent's task, the description, and an example prompt of what it should do. And remember how I stated that they achieved a state-of-the-art Sway Verified Bench test score? Well, that was through the ability to customize the AI model through this preset. So they essentially have three different presets, and they did this by combining the capabilities of two powerful models like GPT-5 and Cloud 4.5. So you can choose different presets to achieve the task that you have requested. If it's a performance model, you can have it with maximum context and use frontier models. You can also use the balance mode, which is a blend of performance and cost and efficiency mode is for fast, responsive and cost efficient tasks. You can choose individual models as well. But the great thing is, is that you have the ability to access all of them completely for free right now because you're on the free tier. And now what we can do is send in our prompt to Verdant to execute this task. This is where it's going to be able to autonomously execute it and we'll be able to see a live preview of what it's focusing on. So right now it is creating the plan and it's going to set up the project structure and you'll get a live visualization of what it's accomplishing. And quite rapidly, it was able to create the crypto exchange that I had requested it to build. It is end-to-end -end fully developed with the backend server, the front-end application, and it gives you a good comprehensive understanding as to how it did this. It also gives you a visual dashboard layout as to what it created with the components as well as a full-on guide as to how you can get started. And what I really like about this agent is that it has done a great job in creating a condensed way to easily get started, whereas made sure that it has added the startup to the start bat file, and it will basically launch all the different backend components, front end, and start up the server where I can now access the crypto exchange. So let's go ahead and create an account. And there we go. We can actually access a live preview of our crypto exchange. This looks really, really good because usually whenever I tell any sort of AI agent to create this, it usually fails. But you can see that it's trying to mimic 
live data being outputted. You have the ETH chart. You also have Solana as well as ARB. So overall, you can get a good understanding of how it works. And it did a really good job in creating the base structure of this app. And I'm really proud to see how it did this. And to showcase this, you can see that I can place a market order, which will actually showcase it being processed. And you can even have it sold at this price. Uh, since we don't have a max amount, we can't really do this, but we can sell it. And you can see that it will showcase the recent orders as well as the open order that was set. But the fact that Verdant was able to fully configure the back end as well as the front end for this project quite rapidly is insane because it did a great job in building this out end to end with no errors. This is now my favorite AI coding agent due to its state of the art capabilities and it's generally a next generation engineering system that treats software development like a full stack end to end process rather than just a series of disconnected prompts. I really love the multi agent orchestration the Genta capabilities, as well as its code generation. It's perfect in all these different domains, which is why I really recommend that you try it out, even with the limited free trial, because this is something that gets you access to state-of-the-art models completely for free. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value. I'll leave all these links in the description below, but make sure you go ahead and join the newsletter. Subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Discord as well as Twitter. And make sure you go ahead and subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.